Nicky Kabamba, good to meet you. Thanks for your time. Um, can I establish first of all that you do choose to be called Nicky rather than Nick? Or are you not bothered? Yeah, I'm not bothered. Uh, just as long as it's not offensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair comment. Um, it's no secret at Woking that Douse has been trying to get you here, not just for the last few months for this season, but even a couple of years ago before he went to, you went to Scotland, he was trying to get you then. So uh, he's got you at last. How did it actually come about this time? Um, also, my, my time at Northampton wasn't, um, I wasn't getting as much playing time as I uh, thought I should be getting. And um, I just need to get some, some minutes and hopefully um, just get myself scoring again. And the last person I've done that was Stouts. Right, and that was at Hampton? Yeah. You had a very good scoring ratio there, I think, didn't you? Yeah, I had a really good, I'm pretty sure it's probably my best in my, my career. I've been yeah. uh, Jordan Marlon, I would say. Do you know how many goals you've scored in, in first class football, whatever it's properly called? I actually, I actually don't know. At least, this is according to Wikipedia, so I, I'm going to have to assume it's correct. You're on 99. I'm on 99? That's what it says. So you need to get that 100th goal. Yeah, quick. I'll get that 100th goal. A double goal. celebration when you yeah, get yeah. it. <laughs> and uh, how, do you, how would you describe yourself as a player? What do you bring? Um, energy. Um, I would call myself a leader, but I would like to uh, say I'm one of the voices that would help in the changing room. And then hopefully that can come onto the pitch. Um, getting goals and assists and being a part of build ups and being a part of team goals and stuff is what I'd say I sort of play around. Like would, would you say you're a bit more of a provider than a, an actual scorer? Um, I, I'll say a bit of both. Yeah. As, as long as the ball gets in, in the goal, it doesn't matter if I provide or score. So that's the mindset I have. Do you prefer being straight down the middle or pulling out wide? Or? Um, I, I do enjoy playing down the middle, but uh, if, if if I need to be, I, I want my pen on the left and coming in. And uh, I'm still looking at you here now. How tall are you? Six three. Six three. Yeah. Classic Douse player then. Yeah, but I, I would hope to say I'm a bit of a more of a mobile big man rather than <laughs> just, just a big man. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, it, Das has already, uh, an, another thing he said about you is that, and you've mentioned it a bit yourself, you're a great character to have in the dressing room. Is that because uh, you, you're a very professional right attitude, or because you lift people up, or a bit of both? I would, I would say a bit of both, yeah, because obviously I've, um, I've got, I would say I've got a little bit of experience now, playing at different levels, um, understanding standards, and uh, hopefully bringing that to the, to the club, to the boys, and just uh, trying to be a good example. And then again, sure. uh, I'm good with the boys as well. I like to uh, make sure everyone's happy and enjoy themselves because obviously football is what we want to do. What you want to do with a smile on your face. Sure, sure. How how did you find your time in Scotland? What is fo professional football in Scotland in any way different to in England? Uh, no, I, th I thoroughly enjoyed it, but it's just um, obviously I went during a pandemic, so I wasn't really able to explore that mu as much as I wanted to. Right. Um, which was a little bit frustrating. But footballing wise, it was yeah. Uh, definitely a highlight of my career, I would say. And uh, we've just been speaking to George Oakley, who said he played with you. Yeah, 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 uh, good friends of Oakley, yeah. yeah. So, uh, was that Kilmarnock together? Yeah. Uh, share some good memories there, to be fair. So that's a possible upfront combination? Partnership, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. Um, again, what I've read, and you can correct this if it's wrong, is you started your sporting life, not as a footballer, but as an athlete. Yeah, back in school. Yeah. Obviously, in school, uh, being an athlete in school, being an athlete after is uh, a little bit different. Well, but yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd done a little bit of sprinting. Yeah, what? Of sprinting. 100 metres or 200? I was more 200. Right. Yeah, so I'd done a little bit of sprinting and stuff. Um, and then the, this is the time where I had a growth spurt, so I had like a 4 to 5 inch growth spurt, and then everything changed from there. Because I used to be just like a speed team, and I used to be quite quick. And stuff. Yeah. Well, 200 metres is a combination of strength and speed, speed isn't yeah. it? So you need some raw power coming around the bend to push off it. Uh, what sort of standard did you get to? Uh, that was just like count. I think it was like county level. Right. So. Okay. Hampton. Um, what were the high points of your time there? Uh, we were on the Obviously, all Dows as jokes. Yeah. Like that, <laughs> that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, I would say when we won the league, um, we, had a, we had a really, really good dressing room, and I feel like Dows has been able to bring that uh, to work as well. Okay. And uh, two or three clubs since then, uh, Portsmouth, Colchester, Aldershot, Haven't. Yeah. When you went to Haven't, Dows tried to sign you then, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah, he did. Yeah, but uh, you 
you went to Harrington instead. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Hartlepool, that was back to full time. Haven't to Hartlepool, it was a hell of a long way. Yeah, and that was all in one day as well, so I had to, I think that was a, uh, I was called up on a Thursday, uh, asked to come on a Friday, I said, look, I've got to get my affairs in order before I can come down. Uh, and then I was able to get there sort of Friday evening, and then played on, played on a Saturday. Wow. And that, you were willing to do that because it was going to be full time. Right? Full time so, football, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's is it, a, does it really make a huge difference being full time? I, d I definitely think it does, especially uh, for myself. I came from non-league, uh, part time, to full time, and I feel like taking the step backwards to go back to part time would have been too much of a step back for myself. Um, obviously, doing that have not was quite difficult, and able to being able to have the opportunity to go back into full time is a no brainer. And I think right. it, any club at full time, you're always going to be at an advantage because uh, the manager, the, the staff, you can uh, you can manage the players much better rather than you've got two training sessions in a week, Tuesday, yeah. Thursday. And one of those might be lost to the weather. Exactly. So it, it definitely is better because you, you, you can do what you need to do on a Monday. It's recovery. Tuesday, push the boys. Wednesday, they can have their day off. Thursday, you can get back at it. And Friday, you can um, do set pieces and get the boys ready for the game. Right. Uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Yeah. Have, have you played any actual international matches? No. So again, uh, unfortunately, I was uh, during the pandemic. I was right. called up right. uh, to play against Gambon, and I caught COVID. Oh. And uh, so you never left the country. Is there a possibility it might happen? Uh, as future? soon as I start firing goals again, I'm pretty yeah. sure that could happen, happen yeah. again. Okay. And. Uh, John Brady is the manager at Northampton. Are you aware he used to play for Woking? No, I'm actually not. Albeit fairly briefly, but he did, yeah. No, I'm actually not yeah. aware of that. No, no, no. I just I I asked Dale earlier if if he'd uh, been involved in a, in liaising with John Brady in order to get you here. He said he hadn't actually, but um, Dale had been aware that he played for Woking, but it uh, hasn't come across your radar. No, that's it. That's news to me. That's news to me. I never knew that. Okay. Right, well great to meet you, I hope you get loads of goals and assists going forward and uh, best of luck for the rest of the season. And I'm sure of it. Thank you. Please remember to like and subscribe to Woking Football Club.